blood is the last place to show that deficiency because the body is so intelligent that it knows how urgent and how critical the blood is. So it urgently protects us there by pulling even from bone marrow to establish a great pH in the blood so that organs don't shut down. dive in to your work i just want to congratulate you because since the last time we, we met you found love and you're getting engaged and congratulations brother oh thank you so much yeah, it's been the number one sale of my life <laughs> as a friend of mine put it with in his life he and i had both done sales back in college and yeah i'm like learned a lot from that too and we were just joking about that as she sat down next to me at, at dinner she had gotten up to like go to the bathroom for a moment and he was asking me so how did you guys meet and yeah thank you it's been on the quest for that for the right person for a long time and it makes a tremendous difference when you feel like when you're naturally a supportive person and you have that love to give because love wants to flow through us and when there's someone that either isn't in your life or leaves your life suddenly and that, that void is there i know that side of it too it can really feel painful because you're used to feeling the love flow through you short idea here i had a real insight from a psychedelic trip i did with mushrooms i think which is that we can't actually know it was a uh, joe Dispenza workshop that i was at we can't actually heal or when we heal we carry the vibration of healing in ourselves and we become a conduit of that healing and that healing passes through us so the more we're in that state of love or healing someone else outwardly focus on someone else the more when we're essentially in essence saying Clear any blocks, please remove any blocks from me so that I can best serve. When we're doing that, we, we're naturally healed by some force that we've yet to really understand fully that just seems to pass right through us and into the person that we either have our hands on or have our, our mind around helping them solve something. Well, I'm um, so. Yeah. But certainly, if we can create that for ourselves, this energy. It leaves somebody who might be in a consciousness state of producing an emotion or a disease that is outwardly not stable. It allows that state not to perpetuate anymore. And it gives them mm -hmm. almost sort of a, a, a feeling of safety. So that energy can just dissipate and allow for heal healing in that other person. So beautiful you shared that, man. But let's get into your work. You have a background in chemical engineering. You've been a nutritionist. And of the thousands of supplement companies that are out there, why did you want to get into the game? I saw that there were thousands of supplement companies out there that, and this is true for any industry, that just wanted to make a buck. And it's different when someone's like installing your AC and that's from a, the, just the focus versus when you're trusting a company to put things into your body and let's call it like it is and I mean to me I see great responsibility in that I think I was attracted to that responsibility and I was attracted to it largely because I in my early 20s my mom passed and I was helping her with her health and we were making some progress I helped her shed some pounds I helped her you know just do a little better but the whole time I was resisting the urge that it was maybe a little too late and that our certainly our tools weren't as effective we didn't have the like a metaphor would be a dull scalpel right that's like yeah it's, this is just not adequate you know with what i was trying to solve the problem with so we had i'd found some of the right ideas and i realized at some point that if the testing was coming back normal all over the board for someone that you could see their health was going from vivacious and full of life and newly retired in in her early 60s at that point to sort of shell of herself someone that could had a huge vocabulary that had a great voice that could was having her speech slur thanks to the buildup of autoimmune conditions that led to my senior gravis that led to all sorts of different conditions it was painful to see that degradation knowing that 
ultimately it had to be reversible and preventable. And so that, along with my own problems around that age, you know, I'd gone to a doctor that no fault of his own. I don't blame those doctors or this one. They just weren't trained in any functional health at all, right? Like most are, right? Or aren't. And yet the outcome was that for her, she got on medication she didn't need that just caused more problems and it, it, it helped. And for me, I was looking to focus better. I had a lot of, I didn't know it at the time, but a lot of mineral deficiencies and nutrient deficiencies. And I was pretty gassed because I had been pushing and achieving and striving since I was like five. It seemed like I'd wrestled and been one of the top wrestlers at, in my weight in the country in high school and played other sports. And by the time I got to college, I was pretty gassed, really. And was thankful that I just, as much as I love those sports, didn't have to do it anymore. Didn't feel like, I think at that time, I felt like my self-worth was tied to my achievement, which is common and a really hard trap for any of us to break. How, who are you outside of your company or your, the things you achieve or the whatever it is, right? And yet we're all worthy just for breathing, you know, we're all worthy. And so I, I, I thought, well, what are my options? I didn't know nearly as much about health and nutrition as I would even in a few years after that, much less now. And the tools weren't really there. Supplements were the new thing that for the most part came in, if you remember around the late nineties, which was when I was a teenager. And because of having to make weight, I was looking at ways to have energy and strength outside of just eating normally. And with that sport, it was interesting because you couldn't just eat whatever you wanted. You had to make weight, just like in boxing or MMA or anything. So it was different than football. It was different than track and, and things. So with that, I, I started to really learn more and more and more. And that just elevated and escalated whenever she started to have issues that I could see just weren't going anywhere. Like no one was really able to help her. And, you know, ultimately I was able to help her, but not enough. And in that process, I found something called hair analysis because I realized that the other testing methods we were trying were resulting in a neutral result that ultimately weren't very actionable. But I started thinking in terms of, as Elon would say, first principles, just an engineering term. And it just means like starting at zero, what do we know to be true? We know that the human body is comprised of elements. And we know those elements are found in a periodic table. I imagine, I imagine that if, say, a, a far more intelligent race experienced our planet, like a, a alien culture, they would probably say, so let me get this straight. So you guys have a, do you have a list of things that build your planet? And you're like, yes. And you're like, oh, so to what extent do you use that to solve all your health problems and and that along with vibration and we'd go we're working on it but frankly for the most most part the majority of us we really haven't made great advances we we send they're like so wait what you're saying is you're not really using it and we go not really no and they'd probably go Oof, we have a lot to teach here so that's that's basically what i i realized was that there were gaps missing on that test and when i say we were working with dull scalpels. We were working with supplements that didn't really absorb well enough to reverse those deficiencies. So that to me was the sign that, okay, I think there's something here. And just having completed organic chemistry, one, two, physical chemistry, you know, a lot of the hardest chemistries out there, I think the, it became really clear to me that this solution was right in front of us. We just needed supplements to absorb better. Because after about a year and a half of trying testing and, and protocols on me and her, we saw some improvement, but the numbers weren't really moving. And I could see things that now I would I could point out to and go like, oh, she had heel spurs and she had what got labeled as osteopenia, osteoporosis. And all these things are, are just mineral deficiency that has been chronic for years and years because what a lot of people don't know is when we test the blood for mineral deficiencies or nutrient deficiencies in, in particular, we, we shouldn't really see much there because the blood is the last place to show that deficiency because the body is so intelligent that 
it knows how urgent and how critical the blood is. So it urgently protects us there by pulling even from bone marrow to establish a great pH in the blood so that organs don't shut down. So as I learned more and more in this area, I just realized, okay, this is the area to focus on. As a chemical engineer, I understand the principles behind solving this, which is cre creating a different industrial process using nanotechnology equipment and producing an end result, an end product that's much different than the supplements that you see on the shelf today. That became what the 10 year journey that, that we're out here today on.